Hello friend, welcome to Stack Phi and if you help me to solve today's physics problem till the end of the video, then you get a cookie. So let's go. Hey what is up everyone, I hope all of you are doing great. This is Rami Zaman and welcome back to our channel. And let us discuss another question from photoelectric effect. So let us go through the question very quickly. Light wavelength, light of wavelength, lambda pH falls on a cathode plate inside a vacuum tube as shown in the figure. So light of wavelength lambda pH is falling on this cathode plate. The work function of the cathode surface is phi. So phi amount of energy is required at least to pull up electron from this plate. And the anode is a wire mesh conducting material kept at a distance d from the cathode. A potential difference V is maintained between the electrodes. Okay. If the minimum de Broglie wavelength of the electrons passing through the anode is lambda E. Now see what happens. These electrons get excited and further it gets accelerated to this anode and while crossing the anode it will create its own some de Broglie wavelength. And there will be many electrons of different values of de Broglie wavelengths. Out of those lambda E is the minimum. Okay, so lambda E is the minimum de Broglie wavelength among all those electrons. That means that electron will have the maximum kinetic energy. I'll check the options later on, but before that, let us go through the relevant theory really quick. So what is photoelectric effect? So photoelectric effect was actually explained by Einstein for which he got the Nobel Prize. Yeah. Suppose there are two electrodes okay so this is the cathode plate where the radiation is falling and when this radiation falls on this plate it excites electron from the metal surface uh, now that electron that comes out of the metal surface might have a variation of kinetic energy okay there are many chances now those electrons will get further accelerated due to this potential difference okay so whatever be the kinetic energy at this plate while after reaching this anode plate the kinetic energy will increase by an amount E times V. So first let us quickly check out what is work function. So work function is the minimum energy required to extract one electron from the metal surface. Easy. Now when I say surface, uh, surface means not only the outermost layer. Surface might consist of uh, 20 to 30 molecular layers, okay, which cannot be differentiated by a naked eye. So and so this photon might excite an electron which lies a uh, few layers behind the topmost layer right now while this electron gets excited so while coming out it might collide with many of the other electrons present in the adjacent layers right uh, and due to that it might lose some of its energy while coming out now that's a real problem now while coming out there might be a worst case scenario and a best case scenario now what is the worst case that all the energy of this excited electron is dissipated due to collision and it just reaches the outermost layer with zero kinetic energy. So this is the worst case scenario. So what is the best case scenario that it suffers no collision at all and it comes out of the outermost layer uh, with zero loss of energy hence with the incident energy minus the energy required to take the electron out that is the work function so this will be the maximum kinetic massive maximum possible kinetic energy with which the electrons can come out from this outermost layer of the cathode now while reaching the anode that same electron will gain an energy e times v so while reaching the anode the energy will become 0 plus ev so that means ev for the best case scenario the energy will be h mu minus w plus ev so the electrons reaching the anode will have a range of kinetic energy from ev to this one okay here we are interested in the maximum kinetic energy of those electrons reaching the anode now let us check the options again for large potential difference which v very much greater than phi by e so lambda is approximately halved if v is made four times so what is lambda e lambda is the minimum de Broglie wavelength that means de Broglie wavelength associated with the maximum kinetic energy electron okay this is the incident photon energy of the incident photon phi amount of energy is lost k max will be the kinetic energy of the electron coming out of the just coming out of the cathode 
the kinetic energy of the electron after while reaching the anode there will be an additional ev because due to this battery there will be an additional addition i mean there will be an additional kinetic energy ev so this will be equal to p max square by 2m p max being the maximum momentum let us take this approximation v very much greater than phi by e so ev is very much greater than phi now we can omit this phi we can consider it as zero hc by lambda ph plus ev equals to p max square by 2m which is equal to e times i have taken e common v plus a constant so we can see that p max that is the momentum of the maximum kinetic energy electron is directly proportional to root over the applied potential difference plus some constant okay so lambda that is the de broglie wavelength we know p equals to h by lambda so lambda is inverse directly proportional to 1 by p it will be directly proportional to 1 by root over v plus c now in according to the first statement if v is made four times so lambda turns to lambda prime here lambda is the wavelength de broglie wavelength minimum de broglie wavelength okay so lambda prime will be directly proportional to 1 by root over 4v plus c now just take the ratio here according to the question we need i think we need to ignore the value of c here then only we can reach the statement given in first option otherwise without the value of c exact value we won't be able to find out so it is nearly equal to because if you ignore c it will be root over 1 by 4 that is 1 by 2 so lambda prime is half of lambda so option a is correct right now what is the first option is correct second option lambda e increases at the same rate as lambda ph for lambda ph less than hc by phi okay now what happens if you increase lambda ph so if you increase lambda ph then the incident photon frequency will decrease then there will be a less probability of thermionic electrons that means electrons coming out of the cathode there is a very less probability and even if they come out then the kinetic energy of the electrons reaching the anode won't increase okay because h mu ph minus phi will decrease right so the kinetic energy of the electrons reaching the anode will decrease due to that lambda e increases but not at the same rate if you keep on increasing lambda ph a time will come when there will be no thermionic electrons at that time there won't be any de broglie wavelength either so of course second option is wrong they are not increasing at the same rate lambda e is approximately halved if d is doubled listen this d is totally useless you can put these two plates very close to each other or you keep them away from each other at large distance things won't differ because the potential difference is remaining same so lambda is totally independent of d so this option is also wrong lambda e decreases with increase in phi and lambda ph so if lambda ph is increasing as well as phi is also increasing that means the incident photon frequencies are decreasing and phi is increasing as well so of course lambda e won't decrease because if phi increases there will be very less and less probability of the electrons coming out of this cathode and even if they come out there will be kinetic energy very small kinetic energy small kinetic energy means small uh, sorry small kinetic energy means very high de broglie wavelength right so lambda e actually increases with increase in phi so last option is also wrong so this one was a pretty easy question and i think there is a high probability of photoelectric co effect question might come in 2021 exam so please go through this chapter once again i hope i might have helped you by some amount if you like the video please do hit the like button and i'll see you in the next time peace take care as you have come to the end of the video you get a cookie i'll see you in the next one peace take care